All right, so in this example, um, we're going to do an example involving dilation rate. And remember from the last video uh, that dilation rate is is um, is just whatever the number is for del dotted with v. So they want to know what the dilation rate is, okay? And, and the question is, uh, the question gives us components of a velocity field, and they want us to determine the volumetric flow rate and interpret the results. All that means is they want to know what the volumetric dilation rate is. They want to know what this is. They want to know what del dotted with v is, okay? And I'll do that in a darker color. <clears throat> Let's do it black. Um, the components, the components of this velocity field are given as, oops, no vector, that's not a vector, vx is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared, uh, v of y is equal to xy plus yz plus z squared, okay, and w is equal to v of z, and that's equal to negative 3xz minus z squared divided by 2 plus 4, okay, so the three components of a velocity field are given, and they want to know what del dot v is, they want to know the dilation rate of this flow field, okay, so let's, let's just write that out. Let's say um, del dot v is equal to, remember your del operator is your partial in respect to x, i, plus your partial in respect to y, j, plus your partial in respect to z, k. Okay? And remember del is a vector. Okay, so that we, we include the unit vectors i, j, and k along with del. So this, this is del, and we dot that with uh, v of x, uh, v of x i plus v of y j plus v of z k. Okay, and this right here is your velocity flow field. So we're dotting these two, and we want to know what this number is. We'll use the question mark. Okay, that's the dilation rate. We want to know the dilation rate. Okay, so we can actually um, we'll play with this a little bit. Um, you know from statics, I hope, that any same unit vector dotted with itself is 1. Any unit vector dotted with another unit vector is 0. So i dot i would be equal to 1, j dot j would be equal to 1, k dot k would be equal to 1. i dot j would not be equal to 1, it would be equal to 0. Okay? So we can actually go ahead and uh, manipulate this a little bit more. Um, this is actually going to equal the partial in respect to x of v of x plus the partial in respect to y of v of y plus the partial in respect to z of v of z. Okay, and remember, dot products give us a scalar result. Okay, so we can fill this in. We, we have v of x, v of y, v of z. We plug those into the formula, solve, and we get our dilation rate. Okay, so the first term here v of x is x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus the partial in respect to y of v of y. v of y is xy plus yz plus z squared. Right? That, that's given up here. And um, I'll probably run out of room, so I'll, I'll bring it down here. The partial in respect to z times v of z, and v of z up here is 
is a negative 3xz minus z squared over 2 plus 4. Okay, so we know how to take um, partials um, from multivariable calculus. Here, the partial in respect to x of this term would be, let's see, 2x plus 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0 plus uh, partial in respect to y of this term. So this would be, it looks like x plus z plus 0. Okay? And lastly, um, partial in respect to z of this term would give us negative 3x uh, minus z plus 0. Okay? So we solve that out. Let's simplify this a little bit more here. We just have 2x. Here we have plus x plus z. And here we have negative 3x minus z. So let's, let's collect all the like terms. We have 2x here, we have x here, and we have negative 3x. So 3x here minus 3x, and then z here and a z here. So plus z minus z. And what do you know? 3x minus 3x is 0, plus z minus z is also 0. We get our dilation rate, or our del dot v, is equal to 0. Huh. That's strange. Del dot v is equal to zero. What does well? What does this mean? Well, in the previous video, we know that if del dot v is equal to zero, the fluid is incompressible. Incom. Oops, that's not a p. Ignore that. Incompress. I'm a horrible speller. If I spell that wrong, I'm really sorry. The fluid is incompressible. We found out that del dotted with v is equal to zero. And if del dot v is equal to zero, the fluid is incompressible. So the dilation rate is actually just zero. Uh, 